by 2018, Drake and Pusha T are starting to go at it. And Drake drops uh, the Duppy freestyle. Mm. And he's got the line in there. And as for the cue, man, I changed his life a couple times. Uh, N-word was that Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. And you actually responded. I worked at Publix. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's, That's not the same. It is not the same. The cakes aren't the same. Uh, the deli, like, forget about it. It's not even close. Like, don't don't put me down there. Well, uh, Drake puts you in the Duppy freestyle, and then Pusha T had the line. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin Miller. Yeah, and that was so that was interesting too, because um, so me and me and Pusha, we already had our own relationship. I had met him through Hit Boy, and you know we talked, and I remember having conversations with him like yo man like i'm a huge fan of you like you a legend you know what I'm saying like i know you know you and drake got y'all shit going on but you know like that don't i'm not really a part of that you know what i'm saying like i'm just trying to make my own name for myself in this business you know and you know he said it said it and understood it or whatever and i remember when he said that line that it was written for nas like nas but it came from quinn I remember I felt like, damn, bro. Like, I, and I text him. I was like, damn, bro. Like, I told you I wasn't really trying to be part of this shit, man. I kind of feel like you used me like a pawn or whatever. And um, so I remember he, I think he had a phone interview with Breakfast Club the next day or he went on Breakfast Club, one of them. And he said, like, you know, uh, and I just want to say, I think Quinn is a dope artist. And, you know, I feel bad for Quinn, da, da, da. Like, he, like, went out his way to like clear that up for me. And I, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciated that. I really respected that. Cause you know, and even at the beginning of the the story of Adadon, he was like ghostwriting aside. Like he just completely, you know, pushed that part to the side, you know? So, um, that was, that was that side of it for sure. Um, and then on the Drake side of it, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's interesting because you know, that man, changed my life. I don't know if he meant to change my life, but he did change my life. So it was just like, that was just a tough spot to be in, like or just in the middle of it. Even though, you know, it's not like he really fucks with me anyway, but still, I still have like a, you know, an empathy for that situation. Boy Wonder's my man. So, uh, 